Okay, welcome folks. We are looking at a two-hour chart of Ada Cardano. Today is March 28th, 2021, about 2.50 p.m. Central Time. Uh, let's go over what we are looking at. We have Shift Pitchfork. Uh, we will be discussing and using Fibonacci time zones and Fibonacci support and resistance level. Uh, also, be looking at some general patterns. And... Um, I think that's about it. Um, as you can see, the 200 moving day average is uh, pretty much uh, right in line with the price action and the 50 day moving average. Uh, on the Ichimoku cloud trading, I'm really excited to see this. We want this conversion line to cross this baseline uh, above the cloud because uh, that, that's the most bullish uh, scenario possible in my mind. Uh, Shift Pitchfork has done a great job at measuring and checking um, price action. So I'm confident uh, with, with this setup. Interestingly enough, we have all this happening and this uh, price action has now been resting on this support line uh, or this median line of the shift pitchfork since about oh, March 24th, so the last four or five days. For those of you that are not familiar with shift pitchfork, uh, we have the median line here and these channels above it act as resistance channels. These channels below it act as support channels. Um, <clears throat> so, so with all this in mind, let's go ahead and try to figure out uh, what is going on here. So as you can see, Cardano made a bid for $1.50, failed. Failed again here. Now, each time it failed, we are getting closer and closer to this median line. So this is telling me that I bet since we are in such a squeeze here, uh, you know, we will see it'll, it'll take less effort, less effort for Cardano to gain support and break this level uh, as the time has passed. But interestingly enough, I think what we are seeing is an ascending triangle, if you look at it this way, a giant ascending triangle. And this is what you guys have to start doing is trying to think out of the box like this, because this data is hidden here. We just need to mine it, uh, no pun intended. Uh, but I do think we will see this come up and try for this $1.50 again. And we may come back down and check this median line until we get out to the end of April or somewhere mid-April to end of April before we really see this thing take off. Um, so that is my prediction right now. Let's go over and see if we can iron out some of these time frames. So I think what I'm going to do is go off this first major sell-off here, uh, this shoulder, and we will see if we can make some measurements. So here we have a Fibonacci time zone, which is coming up March 30th around 1 a.m. So the night of March 29th, somewhere in there. And this could be, uh, this could be correlating to the fact that Cardano is going fully decentralized here in the next week, you know, the next few days, actually. Uh, so I think a lot of the smart money is waiting until that absolutely happens and um, before they they get in and that that does make sense uh, but you can kind of see here uh, my prediction I think around March 30th March 29th we are going to see some movement we're going to see a pivot point we may see a new high or a high of a dollar fifty uh, happen um, if we lose all our support here, uh, you can definitely see how this thing uh, basically trades down uh, to a potential low of 48 cents. 
to 67 cents if this thing takes off and starts ripping uh, within this time frame I'd say till April 27th this could be a new high new low or a swing point pivot point uh, we are looking at two dollars and eighty two cents to four dollars uh, at the very highest again these are extreme levels so uh, we'll go and run some Fibonacci to try to find some more moderate levels here that uh, this might be trading at um, so I do think that uh, we may definitely see this thing come back up test the dollar 50 line maybe drop back down to the dollar 20 line and so on and so forth uh, until this thing really starts ripping let's go ahead and run some Fibonacci retracement try to figure out what levels we can expect this thing to be trading at. Uh, I do know one thing about um, ADA, just through personal experience and, and tracking, uh, ADA does like to kind of sell off around this Fibonacci 2.28, 2.27, uh, and 2.41, and 2.618 levels. Uh, which interestingly enough this 2.618 level intersects with this uh, but obviously if we get past this dollar fifty two dollars is a huge psychological move and well, it's not on here uh, so two dollars obviously would be huge 225 250 uh, this 2.27 uh, line uh, interestingly enough is two dollars and fifty cents so if I had to take a guess at it I think uh, we'll definitely see two dollars two dollars and fifty cents and possibly work its way up to the three dollar mark uh, especially if we can get some good Elliott wave theory going uh, I would like to see that uh, so there you have it that is my technical breakdown of Ada and Cardano I, th I think uh, we are definitely seeing a very nice bullish setup here. I mean, bull, bull flag pull on a huge, what could be, keyword, ascending triangle. Doesn't mean it's always going to go up off that. Uh, chances are more likely than not. Hope you guys enjoyed this technical analysis. And make sure to hit that subscribe button for more. We'll be covering lots of different coins. Uh, uh, cryptos coming up soon. So thank you again for watching. Hope you enjoyed.